What's up, y'all? Y'all know what it is, man. Get money for bitches. Get money for bitches. I'm on an Xbox 360 right now. It's Thursday, you feel me? I'm thinking every Thursday and Friday, I'm going to put up some throwback gameplay. Because, you know, throwback Thursday, flashback Friday. So, I mean, I'm also thinking about doing a walkthrough of this game right here. Blitz the League. What y'all know about this Blitz the League? Now, this is one of my favorite football games of all time. You feel me? And it definitely is. But let's get straight into it. You know, and I'm starting over from the campaign. I never finished the campaign, but I'm about to start over anyway. See, look, I got it right here. One win, one loss. Huh? I only did one game? Hell no. Are you for real? Hey, I'm still starting over for y'all, you feel me? Delete. Delete all that motherfucking data, bitch. Why did I delete the data? I really could kept that and just... All right. And it's gonna be childish still anyway. Alright, boot, 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 boot. Oh, yeah, just that, okay. okay. They won't let me put another eight. So. I hope I don't get copyright for this music. Just saying. Just under half a minute left in the game. Fourth down and seven. Last chance for the offense. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Whoa. You're about to be sidelined. Permanent. Hear me? That's Lawrence Taylor's right there, y'all, in case y'all ain't know. Lawrence Taylor is one of the best linebackers in NFL history. And this part right here is like based off real life when he broke with this one quarterback's leg. Like straight snap that joint or something. So it's based off that. It's kind of like the same tackle he did, but on here, he, all he did was like rip his finger off or something. No, no, it's crazy, crazy shit. Like I said, this is a crazy football game. Damn. Look. Went in sands and the thing is, put an end the, to what he, who he just did to is the star of the football the team we're about to play. And ever since that happened, uh, what's your call? We got we got revamped the whole new like the whole franchise. So we need new team name, new team logo, new team colors, new players. I'm sick of being embarrassed. I'm cleaning house. New general manager, new coaching staff, new roster. Mayor Andrews. We're going to win the league championship this year. <laughs> the league title this year. And they say you don't have a sense of humor. How about this? If I win the league championship, you have to back the bond issue that'll pay for this new stadium. A bond issue that will no doubt screw the local taxpayer while lining your pocket. Yours too, Madam Mayor. I know how to share the wealth. And if your team doesn't go all the way and the bond issue fails to pass... Then I'll make it up to you. I'll, uh, write a substantial check to your re-election campaign. Shall we seal the bargain? There will be no sealing unless you win. To the victor go the spoils. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Pour us a drink, spoils. Alright, Stranger's had it. Time to clean house. Nothing stays the same. We need to design a new team name, a new logo, get some coaches, players that know how to win championships. We only get one shot at this, so we gotta do it right. Let's do that, y'all, son. Alright, location. You already know where we're going to, bro. Baltimore, man. You already know how we rock around here, man. Fucking body, body more murder laying around here. Continue. Team name. We are Christians. You're not being no fucking demons. We are Christians. But, um, y'all trying to, like, replicate, like, a real-life team of real-life players or players from movies or something? Or y'all just trying to, honestly, don't know? Let's go with the Baltimore Mob. Baltimore Mob, you feel me? Mob around here. Um, team logo is not the word, but Drake. That's a Drake. We might get the, ooh, Mobster. Bro, that's perfect. Let's go. Team colors. You already know how we gonna rock around here, bro. Number one, black. 
Then we have to go with the purple. You feel me? Sound like the Ravens, even though the, that team right there, the nightmares that just broke the freaking quarterback's finger was black and purple. So, matter of fact, no, we can't use purple. Black and red, though. Black and red. Red is my second favorite color. Okay. And then right here. Straight black, bro. Then you really can't see nobody. So I guess that's cool, right? Look like we're bloods, but we're not. Okay. Helmet style. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is for home too, bro. Not even for away. Bro, it's like hella styles. Honestly, don't know, y'all. This nigga keep on moving too. Stop fucking moving. These were designed for a common fan. It seats, crowds, both end zones make it very hard for opposing offenses in the red zone. Okay. This brand new facility is good at generating maximum revenue for the owner, but it's not the best place to take it in a game. While the building itself is quite good, there are tough issues around abound that can cause visiting teams all sorts of headaches. Yo, what y'all think, yo? The Dobbs Coliseum, the Ford Falls Field, or Memorial Stadium? Let's go with the Dobbs Coliseum. Or the coach. Or we get an upgrade in training. And this is offense, I think. Seems. Alright. Old school philosophy, Tim Fazio, or Fazio, I don't really know. But uh, he has a reputation for winning and moving on. Love or hate him, you gotta respect him. Makes this player's voyage. Strength train. I might get him, because we need to be strong, you feel me? Alright, modern upstart, Jim Ronnie Carmazzi. A rising star looking for his first head coaching gig. Turned Chicago QB Shane Spain into a legend. Arm accuracy training upgrade. Uh, his lax padless practices are questionable, but there's no question he gets results while keeping his guys healthy. Yo, we need, we need everybody to be healthy. We do. But we can't be healthy and suck. So let's, yo, let's go with Tim Fazio. Alright. Now, philosophy passing. Oh, this is a coordinator. Okay, for passing. Armand Markin. He can't convert third and short to save his life, but the Armand and dangerous aerial attack sure has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Impuve QBs and faster wide receivers. That y'all, that that sounds good. It makes me don't want to look at the rest, but let's look at the rest. All right, balanced philosophy. Ellis Gasio, uh, a no nonsense coach that quickly adapts to any situation. His only weakness is that he has trouble overwhelming the defense. His run the running backs. And wide receiver are faster with better hands. Okay, all right. And rushing, Dallas Breaker. The Texas Bruiser once won two games straight while passing. All but one of his runners won the rushing crown. So running backs, tight ends, and fullbacks will be faster and stronger. I don't want to like focus on like one thing, so we had to go with the first coach with fast wide receivers and improved quarter uh, quarterbacks. You feel me? I think that's good. I really don't need fast. Be fast. All you need to do is catch the ball. Fuck it. All right. Hope I ain't mess up, guys. All right. Defensive coordinator Jim Campin. His philosophy blitzing, and the game is called blitz. So most likely, might go with him too. Players love his aggressive blitzing scheme, but his porous secondary cost him a playoff lead in his job with Dallas. The defensive line and inside linebackers are faster and stronger, which are good. Balanced philosophy pops Rodriguez. He's excelled with the New York Nightmare, so it was a shock when their star linebacker got him fired for not blitzing enough. Wow. The linebackers and the safeties are faster and stronger. I might go with him. Our right, conservative, Dane Dawson. It's a joke that he bores QBs into mistakes with his bend, but don't break schemes with no one coaches a secondary better. DBs are fast and strong. Let's go with Pops Rodriguez. All right, now our doctor. We need the best doctor out there, you feel me? So Dr. Boza, his philosophy is aggressive. Lives for experimental medicine. Can we get our guys to the game, but it won't always be pretty. Prayer is less likely to be caught juicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Dr. Eisenman, philosophy balanced. Well rounded guy who won't let us down. He likes to play it safe, but he's not bad at giving guys a nice liquid kick in the ass if need. Reduce recovery times, okay. And Dr. Chu, 
conservative, you feel me, excels at helping guys reach their full potential. We wonder how good he is at patching up the wounded, though. Uh, increases players' game through training. I don't know, y'all. I don't, don't want to be juicing. I don't. Let's go with Dr. Iserman. Now, here we go the players, y'all. The rookie. Quarterback Clayton Westcott, a great pocket passer with the arm that launches the ball like it was shot out of a cannon. Scrambling, however, is not his strong suit. And y'all, the way I play football, I scramble a lot, so. Yeah. Justin Jonas. Hmm, Justin, okay. Wide receiver. Somewhat undersized for a pro, but his speed, sore hands, and mental toughness made him the top college receiver his senior year. Okay. And Tyrone Kill Gore. Halfback. Strong runner with the unrivaled ability that you can spend, but a few key fumbles have made his hands suspect. Yo, what should we go against, y'all? The wide receiver, the halfback, or the quarterback? We can easily improve that scram that scrambling. He undersized, so he's small, but he fast. So let's go. I don't really know if I want the running back. So let's go with who should we go? The quarterback or the wide receiver? I don't know, y'all. Ah, niggas look alike. Not to be racist, I'm just saying they all got the same eyes, kinda. Yeah, we, we, yeah, they do, they, they do. But yo, who y'all? Justin Jones or Clayton Westcott? Wait a minute, Clayton Westcott, Dak Prescott. Up, oh, Dak. Okay, let's go with the quarterback. No, the veteran on defense. We got Ted Lawless, the linebacker, one of the best linebackers in recent years. Age has slowed him, but his ability to be in the right place at the right time more than makes up for it. We like linebackers from West School. Veteran. Defensive end. Strong, mean, and unrelenting. He's a quarterback worst nightmare. His fixation on making sacks no matter the offensive set can get him in trouble. Okay. And the safety, Daryl Kinsman. Possessing great instincts and leadership skills, he's lost a few steps over the year, but can still deliver the big plays and clutch situations. Okay. Safety, defensive and linebacker. Yo, I might, I might go with the linebacker. Y'all let's go with the linebacker. The Baltimore Ryan, our rookies Clayton Westcott, veteran Ted Lawless. And we're a passing type team. Okay, that's cool. Let's get it, man.